history of how I got started. Exit were my mentors. Exit were like someone I looked up to when as a kid. I was learning how to play drum through the late 60s and through the 70s. I'm still playing. My band played at Jam Spot last week. My guitars and I have been playing over 40 years now. But Exit is one of the bands that I looked up to. It was so funny because uh, my brother and sisters are here and uh, they can vouch for me on this because I used to play my toy drum set and tie bells to my leg and try to work my leg doing this, like Exit, you know. A lot of coordination, I think Nicole might know that. A lot of coordination with being a drummer because you're working on your hands, moving your legs, doing something, everything's doing something different. Like the workout, like Lauren just said. So, but I didn't stay hard, so. But, uh, <laughs> but anyway, it was something to do and then that's how I got my workout and that's how I trained myself to keep this foot going while this foot was doing something out to the beat. And then thanks to the drummer, Leo Herrera, for getting me in that mood. And Exit was one of my favorite bands as far as like Hendrix and all them good bands were out in the time. You know, you had Hendrix, you had um, Cream, you had Led Zeppelin, you had Black Sabbath, you know, all the good rock and roll bands and all the far out and solid days, you know. Those were the good old days. I think we grew up in a good era, you know, we did. And we used to just get away with stuff, you know, back then. But nowadays, you know, I'm 23 years sober now. And it's just awesome to be in that little group. And, you know, I try to give advice to other people that, you know, if you're sick, have diabetes. Uh, some of my friends still drink. They're, they're diabetic. But I try to tell them, hey, man, you still want, you don't want to be on dialysis. You still want your toes. You still want your legs, you know, whatever. Because, you know, it can lead to that, you know, with the removal of. But anyway, I just wanted to um, uh, thank Exit for being role models for me, you know. And I want to wish uh, the family well here to carry on. Gume and hush strong be strong in our language, that's what I'm saying. And um, just to, um, you know, like you have good memories of your dad, you know, and, and, and he was, you know, I, I still, I almost did, I couldn't find my exit album. I wanted to bring it down, but I put together two drum hits that everybody signed. So I got original autographs from the bandmates here and, and the daughter here to sign for her dad and get autographs for her. And I also want to keep my brother and cousin Bob Valdez in prayer and hope he recovers from his illness. It's kind of hard to say though. And I want to thank my best friend Ramona. Ramona and I have a, a daughter uh, that plays in an all-girl band here in Albuquerque. And they're rocking, they're called Suspended. They're a heavy, you know, runs the, 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 the jeans, you know, it, it's just all musicians. And Channing's a brilliant drummer. And also her sister from my wife, uh, Ramona and I's best friend, you know. Ella, she, uh, we have a daughter also, Autumn plays in that band, um, and they're called Suspended. She's the bass player, she plays bass in my band also. And I used to play in this group here, they were called Roadside Builders with Nicole, Nicole and um, her, her sidekick, Buzzy. So I used to play with them, and there's a lot of musicians here that I jam with, and I know I used to do Music Fest, this is some of my Music Fest, I used to have Buck Fest. I had 30 bands one year, it's all in the back here, and uh, Lauren's group used to play, Lauren's band used to play, uh, I, I met Ed, I met uh, Ed Cavodi when he was just probably 17, 18 years old, maybe out of high school, freshly out of high school, but I met him at a, an award that I won uh, way back, a music award, and uh, I even got to play the Civic Auditorium before they tore that place down. It's kind of my history of what I did, my music, and like I said, I got my daughters that carry on, and I got nephews that all play, and it's just a um, whole family of music, and like I said, uh, Exit was one of my biggest... Uh, uh, biggest uh, bands that I looked at because they were all Native American and on top of that Red Bone and then you had Zuni Midnighters, Navajo Sundowns, I'm not going to leave these bands out because they were all influences on me because I played variety of music, I played with country bands, Spanish bands, I play rock and roll, I'm in two classic rock bands right now and then my heavy metal band, original band, so I'm carrying on, like I said, thanks to, uh, you know, the talents of these, these uh, elders, you know, uh, with their music and um, influencing me and, and, and my kids to carry on in what I do. So I'm hoping I can have my music fest this year again and any musicians in here that are left, I don't know, but uh, if you guys want to play my gigs, you come see me and, and I thank you for letting me get up here to have a little opportunity of talking. I know it's a long night and you know some people probably got tired and went, but they might be outside too. There might be a powwow going on outside, a 49er, hey. <laughs> I don't know. 
But I want to thank everybody and, and God bless uh, the Swazo family and um, Mr. Matt Swazo. You know, it sounds like a, let me have some chili yazi and a Big Mac and let me have an RC, you know? Sounds like a whole meal right there. A RC Garris, I mean RC Cola, you know? Sounds like a whole meal right there, but. <laughs> My name is Buck Contra and I thank you. Thank you for letting me get up here and talk a little and God bless everyone. Have a good evening and everyone get home safe tonight. Nice day.